Hey everyone, Empress here again, this time in front of the Guildmaster to teach you everything you need to know about guilds here in the world of Midgard. Now if you don't already know, a guild is a group of players that works together, helps each other, teaches each other, quests together, runs dungeons together, talks, and lots of other wonderful fun things. Now if you wanted to join a guild that already exists, you have to be invited by someone in the guild with the power to do so, such as an officer or the guild master. However, if you're a somewhat experienced player who wanted to create a guild of your own, this is how you would do so. We're here at the guild master, which is here next to the blacksmith and merchant. And we're going to click on him. And we're going to click guild. We want to create a guild. This is where you input the name. And if it's not taken, your guild is created. Now you can see right here, guild name, justice, size 1, because I'm the only one in it. Now we're done with him, so I can come up to menu, go to the tab with the swords and shield, and here I am at my guild tab. You can see the guild name here. This would be the daily message if one were set. You can see a members list here, me being the only one. Now info would be how you set the daily message. This is the message that every member sees when they first log on. Down here, guild info would be what you want people to read about your group. And you want to be sure to click save and then go back. Add would be how you would invite a new player to your group. You type their name in here, and then click OK. If they're online at the time, they then get a little pop-up with the name of your group and a yes or no. If they say yes, you then get a confirmation in your chat box. If they say no, nothing happens. If they're offline at the time, you can see players not found. Kick would be how you move a player from your group if they're unfortunately not wanted anymore. Type their name here and click OK. Manage, here you see the guild ranks. There's five here by default, but you have the option to add new ones or remove ones you don't want. If you click on one, here you can see you have the option to change the name if you wish. You can set or remove guild permissions, such as the ability to invite players or kick players. You can set how much gold they're allowed to use from the guild bank for repairs each day. Here you can set the rights to the tabs of your guild bank if you have one. And when you have made your changes, you want to be sure to click save and then you can go back. Leave would be how you leave the guild permanently. If it's your guild and you're the only one in it like it is with me here, if I click leave, the group is then destroyed. But before I do that, I want to tell you about log this would be the log of who takes what and leaves what for the guild bank if you have yours set up. Now, with everything you've seen here, I can click leave. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes, I am. And now I am no longer in a guild. So now, you can see guild is empty. And if I go up to tab, back to the guild tab, you're not in a guild. So that should be everything you need to know about guilds here in the world of Midgard. I hope you have fun.